Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the very first playthrough of Root Beer Dragon's Brewery. That's all we're doing here. Um, so, after a lot of complications with technology and all that stuff, um, that stuff working. Uh, I was originally... I, let's just get started. I'll explain on the way. It's... <sighs> Boy, am I a smart person. Um, botching this up already. I forgot I had another game in here. For some reason I was thinking, oh, you know, just, uh, just wasting your time with all this. <laughs> okay. I had GTA 5 in there. So let's get Conquer in there. Get the game that you clicked on the video for. So, clicked, touched, whatever you're doing, whatever device you're using. There we go. <laughs> so anyway, now it's a started. <coughs> I love the way this looks. I love how clear it is. So anyway, um... So yeah, I was I was originally gonna do all this. Um, I actually might made a part for this for this channel, or potentially my previous gaming channel. And uh, I don't know, that just didn't work out too well. Um. So yeah, we of course all this we're seeing right now we're not gonna be playing. I'm going to be playing the Bad Fur Day part. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be calling this, so... We'll just wait and see. Because um, I am technically playing... I'm playing Conquer Live and Reloaded, it's just... I'm playing that part. I'm playing the Bad Fur Day part. Um, I did a trial run of this game on my previous... Uh, on the previous Let's Play channel. Which, I mean, this isn't exclusively a Let's Play channel. But, um... In terms of the Let's Play, I did this on my previous one, but as a trial run. Uh, by that, I mean I only did like one playthrough and just a few videos. Not the whole game. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. But there was a lot of complications. Um, essentially, I, I thought that I wouldn't be able to run this on my desktop, so you try to use my laptop. And it worked for a while. I recorded my audio on the desktop while recording the game footage on my laptop. The only, the only roadblock I had was, um, well, uh, I tried to, let's see, okay. Uh, the only I ran into, yeah, this is where I was at at the, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and erase this since I'll be starting a new game. The only roadblock I had was... The fact that I tried, even though there was plenty of space on my uh, USB, uh, my uh, flash drive, for it to hold the game footage, it, tr it still tried to say it was too large. I guess there's something about video sizes, but that doesn't, they're just really dumb, basically. Uh, so we tried to get things working out, and just, things just got complicated, but a friend of mine told me that, um what to do and long story short i did it today earlier as of this recording and what it, lo and behold here we go <laughs> so let's get started with conquer uh conquer's bad fur day library loaded edition i don't know what whatever i'm calling this i haven't come up with an official name for what i'm going to be calling it on youtube and i'll mostly just talk through when they're not talking Luckily, I've played this game so many times that um, <laughs> that I I know when they're gonna talk and when they're not gonna talk, and you know. <clears throat> and this is starring Conquer and Barry. And of course, they changed Barry's looks when they went from making this into a. I'm just staring at my TV. A So yeah, 
there are aspects of this game. I will be explaining kind of why a lot of people prefer Bad Fur Day to this version. Like the original Bad Fur Day to this version. And I can understand. There's there's things about Bad Fur Day that are better than this version. Um, in terms of aging, though, well, I'll explain on the way. Whenever I get a chance. Conker's about to talk here soon. Well, there, there I am. Conquer the king. King of all the lands. Who'd have thought that? But how did I come to this, I hear you say? And who are those strange fellows that surround my throne? I hear you also say. Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. It all started yesterday. What a day that was. It's what I call a bad fur day. So yeah, it's a it's a pretty bad fur day for him. <sighs> I'm still gonna be quiet though, because there's more talking. Well, there's also loading, but you know. Guys, and they're off tomorrow to some, I don't know, fight some war somewhere. Anyway. Um, I'll see ya. <laughs> Lo love you. I think she bought it. Conquer, put the phone down. Oh, oh. Uh, right. Who's round with it? Yours. What, again? Okay. Can someone lend me a fiver? Uh, uh, I don't feel so good now. You guys enjoy yourself and all that, and I'll probably see you sometime next week. I gotta go home. Uh, I'll go this way. Oh, oh, no, that's the toilets. No, no, this way. Yeah, that's better. Oh, it doesn't look too good tonight. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna sec. Uh, sorry about that, old chap. Gotta go. He made the pukes. Uh, can't quite make it out. Anyway, it seems pretty familiar to me. This way, I suppose. More milk.
And that's the story. He spills his milk and ah, uh, you'll see. <laughs> This is one of those games that, I mean, it's exclusive, but it, it really looks like it could have passed as a, almost looks like it could have passed as a uh, early 360 game. If it was widescreen, I don't know, I can't remember if there's a widescreen option or not, but yeah, if it was widescreen, you know. <laughs> So by the way, I, I don't have to walk this way. I uh, in this version you can walk like the the gates automatically open right there. But there's just various things. I'm just doing this just for fun. Um, there's various things in this game in this version that have just aged better. Okay, you, there's an invisible wall. I thought you could like fall off and then uh, you'd appear. But oh wait, that's right. When you fall off, you appear somewhere else. Okay, anyway. So good. <laughs> yeah, there's it's, it's just... I feel like this version overall, which I'll be repeating it probably, has aged better than uh, the N64 version. So... <laughs> What's that? What's that? Hey, hey. Who are you? Oh, hello. Can you help me? Ugh. Ugh. I, I need to get home and go to bed because I don't feel very well at all. Oh, no. No. Oh, so you can't help me at all? Uh, uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, just a second. Maybe. Um, okay. What's your name? Beardy. Beardy? You haven't got a beard. No. Beardy. I scared birdies. Okay, birdie. Um, so how you, can you help me? Alright. Uh, let's step over here. <laughs> Just like doing that. You see those buttons? Actually, you'll find the tech. Uh, they're called context sensitive. <laughs> and, uh, uh, well, actually, they, uh, uh, press B. Press B. Oh, yeah. The light comes on. Uh, and it makes a nice ding. Right, a ding noise. You guys ding. There, no, ding. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay, I'll press B. And when you press B. I don't know if I do. So, what does that mean? It means contact sensitive. It's sensitive to contacts. Try it over there. Okay. Or you can try it again. Um. <laughs> One more time. Huh. Don't mind if I do. Very, very much. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed now. Hey, hey. <laughs> of course, in the, uh... In the N64 version, he goes F off when you hit him. But, I mean, they censor it, but, you know. Uh, 
Oh, just what I needed. In fact, it would seem to me that these give me just what I need at that moment in time. Oh, I see what he means. Context sensitive. Clever. Oh, I feel loads better. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, and by the way, if for whatever reason you want to skip all these wonderful cutscenes, just pull the last trigger. But you will have to have watched them at least once. That's good thing in this is um <coughs> so he, so because he doesn't have his weapon yet he still acts like drunk or as a sort of drunk look whenever he punches for, at the moment um <coughs> but uh that's gonna be a reoccurring thing or somewhat reoccurring thing is whenever you hear because it was one guy that talked for almost all the guy characters uh so whenever they get tutorials and the buttons are different um you have to, uh, or, you know, you can tell a difference, like, their voice changed, so they, they couldn't quite get, get it right for the next time around, but, <sighs> let's see, um, let's get right here. Oh, I can't seem to get any further. You can tell the difference. I'm sure there was something. Ah, oh, yeah, now I remember. Pull the right trigger down, and I should crouch. Now then. Oh yeah. Press A to jump extra high. Then press A again to do that funny helicopter tail thing. And that makes me hover. Hmm. I should easily get across that gap now. Are you sure you got that? So yeah. Um Yeah, the Tails the Fox move. Um so, uh, yeah, what happens is, um, what was I saying again? Where was I getting at with that? Um, well, anyway. Well, this is what happens. I was going to wait to show you, but, yeah, you land right there. Anyway, <coughs> so, um, but the, one of the reasons this version over the other is just it's mainly the controls i mean that's the biggest reason there's things that are that were not as good when it was translated to this over the like the n64 version but you know you'll just see various things that are better or worse if you if you know bad for a day and but don't know this one version ah who's this guy if you think you're coming this way you can think again Oh, you're a real charmer. I just want to get past, please. No, I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of Gothic architecture for 200 years? Gets right up your ass, you know. Thought it was about time to move on to a bridge, say. And I'm not moving now. Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about Gothic architecture? Well... If you care to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. And what do you do when I do this? <laughs> now in the N64 version, he like throws you off the side. Uh, but um, but anyway, <coughs> so yeah, there's stuff like that. Like if you know, the reason I was laughing was after he talked about, well, after he said Gothic arch architecture. After Conker said it, his mouth just, like, didn't play, so it just looks like he's going, Wah! you know. Um, so, yeah. It's stuff like that, little errors like that, that make this one not as good as the N64 version, but overall... Hang on a second. This is really no good at all. Hmm. I need a weapon. Ah. Do it. Eeny, meeny, miny. Hmm. Mo. The frying pan. Weapon. Cool. Okay, here's the score. Press the B button to equip and put away. Then, once equipped, pull the right trigger to swipe. 
Are you sure you got that? <laughs> oh, just great. I thought the designer said this was just a straight port. What a hack. Now, which one was it? And they make references to the fact that it, you know, this is a different version. So they st they still get a little creative with, uh, you know. Now one thing I'll say about the combat real quick as I just walk around. <laughs> um, is that when you get the, when you, uh, when you fight off those things, like they'll, they'll be around. They're not all wooden, but um, when you fight them. Sometimes they, uh, sometimes all the moves don't work, and you may see it later on. That got kind of annoying. Like, it's a cool feature, but at least get it to work properly. Um, you'll see what I mean. Like, you can do, like, like, sometimes it just does that even when you're next to the enemy. Sometimes it'll respond, and sometimes... Like that. Like, it just, it didn't respond right away. As I was trying to click it. Um, like the whole, you know, three move thing. Um, and by the way, the frying pan, will we see it for throughout the whole game? Well, let's see. The frying pan. You stupid little t Hmm. Wasn't he meant to fall off here? Hey, weren't you meant to fall off here? Yes. But the designer thought it wise to change the training level a bit. To fool the audience into thinking that the rest of the game would also be different. I'm afraid you'll have to try something else. Hmm. Well, lucky I brought this as well in. Ouch. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Designer. No more surprises, please. <laughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Now, hold on, there's still some talking to do, but... Plunger with dynamite. Um, I think I know what's gonna happen now. Fantastic. Let's go and get some shut eye. Finally. So, before I go in there and let a cutscene play, one of the biggest reasons people, one of the biggest problems people have with Conquer Live Reloaded Bad Fur Day is that they censor a lot more words. Which is confusing considering that Nintendo, more at the time, was considered to be like the, the family friendly stuff. So the fact that this was more censored than the Nintendo, the family, you know, in terms of Bad Fur Day, um, the fact that it was more censored didn't really make much sense. I can agree, and the fact that it's still an M-rated game, and they censored it more, that was a bit confusing. But if that's the only argument that people have, then, I don't know, that's, that's kind of dumb to just say, well, it's censored more, I don't like it. But if you want a completely uncensored version, beat Bad Fur Day on here and then play the multiplayer, which is what the actual Live and Reloaded part is, and you'll actually hear the entire... You can actually make it to where everything is uncensored. Every, uh... You know, every word. Even the F word. What is like? What is like? I got entrance? This is got to be important. Ah, oh, Professor. Welcome. I have a job for you. As you can see. The table, ah oh, yes. So I have spelled the milk again. Oh, that's not good, not good. Let me have a look at it for you. Yes, I, I think I see the problem. I will see you for the I handle. 
She must get me a moment though. I'll come back later. Don't be too long. Uh, I'll be as quick as I can, sir. Because we know what happened last time. <laughs> on it a while. On it a while. I I'll go now. I don't want to have to get the duct tape out again. Uh, uh, yes. Wait, no. And uh, I don't want you to get the duct tape out again. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Duct tape. I'll get him a duct tape. <laughs> ah, I'll come down here. I'll show him what the duct tape is. I'll show him what the stuff is. Stupid. <laughs> all I do all day is trying to sort his stupid <laughs> problems out of him. <laughs> anyway. What about me? Um, the milk, the milk, the table, the table, the table. What shall we do? Oh, what shall we do with this? Um, clean slate. Yeah, clean slate. Uh, this, uh, I have to grab it to chocolate, so it's, it's kind of working. Uh, that will do, that will do. I'm going to number that. Looks like I'll conquer. Hold on. <laughs> I like how they have those little clips there. For, uh, uh, of like conquered um, doing that, like uh, like they had a little audio. Like sometimes he says these are delicious. I don't know if you heard of it. Like I like how one of them was just he goes. Um, <laughs> I was like, he was like, he's like, <coughs> you know, he like starts coughing. Oh, that was pretty funny. Yo, oh shoot. No, I didn't want to trigger this just yet. I'm playing a cutscene. Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to play a certain cutscene first. <laughs> I didn't want to play that one just yet. Everyone ignore that. I hope it'll be ignored. Um, but, uh, what was I going to say? Um, but anyway, what I wanted to do, I, I, they completely botched it up. I mean, I... I they, you'd think that that would be like... That wouldn't be available to actually grab until you've already, um, you know. See if they try to sting me. Okay, so what happens? That happens. That's why you can't go in there. I was trying to make a joke and say, oh, I'm going to go in here, and I knew already what was going to happen. So, anyway, when you go through here, you got these worms. So, uh, but this guy. Oh, who oh, is this guy? Oh, hello there. Um, and what do you do then? <clears throat> It'll cost you. Oh, how much? A lot. Come back when you got more money. Go on, on your bike. So now I'm trying to remember what I was going to say earlier. Um, I'm about to lose a health point, or a couple health points. So there's this thing right here. Um, I don't think there's any real reason why it's here. It just, they just thought, maybe, maybe they had intended to have something else added to this. But then they couldn't think of anything, so they just left it in. I guess just more of something to do while you're going around. That is something I kind of like, is that they added... Even if it's not very useful, it's still nice that they added a little something there to kind of do while you're trying to figure out what to do, like if you don't know this game very well. So there's two camera options there, and for some reason, you can jump with and jump and do this with the by clicking the uh, left joystick or stick or whatever they're calling it, whatever they're calling it these days. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's a thing. Hold on. 
It's like uh, one of them skills. I'm going to get down there, kick the s*** out of him. Nah, right, we'll wait till he comes up here, alright. Okay, then, yeah. I just want to play that real quick. Now let's go do this mission. I'm just doing this weirdly. Ooh, those nasty, nasty wasps. Whatever shall we do? My beautiful hive is gone. Oh, I'll never see it again now. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Please get it back for us. Otherwise I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. I'll go and get it for you. Where is it? Oh, just follow the signs. <laughs> oh, whatever. Think about the bee in this, ver the queen bee in this version. If she actually looks like a, a female, she actually has more feminine look. In the uh, in the N sixty four version, you you could just about say it was a boy. Even with the voice, you could almost say it was just a guy. Until you actually learn that it's a queen bee, you know. So, yeah. I wonder if that cutscene will play again. It probably won't. Sorry about the interruption, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Squirrel, and none of this would have happened if it weren't for that no good husband of mine. He's gone off, you know, with another woman. Oh, really? That doesn't surprise me. What? Nothing. Anyway, <laughs> as a reward for your good service to the bee community, I present you with this. Somebody call for me. <laughs> yeah, cash prizes. <coughs> so, yeah, um, she has a more feminine look in this version. Um, I don't think, you, yeah, you can't hit her, but anyway. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just, I don't know. There's various characters that have better and sometimes, but sometimes questionable designs. Hello, it's me again, Mr. Scarecrow Birdie. Right, what seems to be the problem? Oh yes, you need manual. Otherwise, no, that doesn't work. Money, I cost you. Oh, how much? Uh, got any Mepsi Pox? What? Don't matter. <laughs> Actually, uh, I think, uh, well, uh, uh, a ten dollar. Long time. You love manual, long time. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Manual. Just press B. <laughs> In there. Hurry up! Okay, suit me. Yeah, cash. So yeah, I accidentally cut, uh, skipped that cutscene one time. Although I want to check something real quick. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's right. Oh, I don't want to quit the game. That's not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to do options. Yes and no. Anyway. Ah, seems to be an instruction book. 
Oh, I see. It's for the more complex stuff. It'll appear the first time you use a more complex zone. And if you need it again, pull the left trigger and press B at the same time. To skip it, just press B. The catapult. Let's see now. Use the right thumbstick to aim, and then the right trigger to fire. That seems simple enough. Okay. Okay. And then 64 version, you had to keep, uh... In the N64 version, you had to keep uh, pressing the thing to skip the pages, so. Let's see. There we go. <coughs> um. I got that out of that little thing right there. I don't. Particularly, I guess it's supposed to be a dam or a filter or something. Doesn't seem to be making any kind of. Dam. I guess well up there is the pooey water. So let's see. Hmm. Let's see. That way or that way. Hmm. <laughs> that way smells a bit pooey. Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. Although you do come this way anyway, so we're gonna do this anyway. We're gonna come up here real quick. Ten o'clock. Hmm. Ten o'clock. Damn it! It now. No. Oh. Well, I suppose I'll come back later then. Yeah, crap. Yeah, see, that's all I mean. You you can't always do it, but that, sometimes I usually back up like, and then get them while I'm doing the third strike. That's usually what I do. Let's see if I can do the. There we go. No poo balls. It's kind of weird that, like, the, the poo in this game looks really veiny. Like, what it, Like, what is that supposed to be? I really love the, the music here, just... They get creative with having the, the fart sounds. Now, the best kind of fart jokes is something I'll explain here in a bit. If this will load. There we go. Hmm. Get the impression somebody doesn't want me to be here. They certainly don't want me to go that way. Um. Think I'll go that way. <laughs> Piss off. Go away. Feck off. Turn back. Sometimes, like, some of these... Seems like some of these would have something on the back, but I guess not. X. Saw it off. Um. Let's see. Uh. Is it safe, I wonder? Mm -hmm. Let's find out. So whenever we get to this level, it's it's pretty interesting. Actually, I mean, I don't want to spoil... Well, when we get up there. But I don't want to spoil too much of it, but it, it's a pretty interesting part of the game. Um, interesting level. So, as soon as we can get up there, I'll show you. Sometimes those jumps don't always respond, so that gets kind of annoying. Oh. Uh-oh. I think it's about to... Oh. Ah, heck. It doesn't like I'm going that way just yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're not actually going that way yet. Oh. <laughs> um... So yeah, uh, spoiler, that could, that might be near the end of the game, who knows? We'll just see. We'll just have to see. 
And the way I said it, you, you know now that it's probably going to be in the game. Anyway. Uh. So the, the best kind of fart jokes are the ones that are w well written. I mean, that's that's with a lot of jokes, is if they're well written or, or delivered well, you know. Ow. Um. But yeah. Um. Like, like when you have these, some of these older cartoons like Rocco's Modern Life, like when there's just a fart where you just hear, brr, like no one farted, it's just the sound. That's kind of when it's funny. It's just when you when it's just completely unexpected. Just it's just kind of there, just to just to be there, you know. So, what is the key elements in this experimentation? We have the table, yeah. The milk in the glass broken. Ah, I see problem. Oh, and the seems to be a, hmm. Seems to be a hmm. I must do some experiments, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And we will sort this out. And when my head is happening, then, my lord, we will see who uses the duct tape. <laughs> so, um, let's see. I forgot to do something. Let's go back real quick. I, for, I forgot to do one important thing. And I can do it any time, but I want to go ahead and do it now. Is die. Because you'll see what happens now. If you don't know what happens in this game at all. you a little shot to be a Grim Reaper? Well, how many Grim Reapers have you met before, mate? What, what am I supposed to look like? Yeah, that's a good point. Well, All right, we're back real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Now, let's see. Ah, yes. Conquer. Surname? The Squirrel. The Squirrel. The... Oh, bloody hell, you would have to be a sodding squirrel, wouldn't you? Why, is there a problem with that? Well, yes, there is, actually. It's like those bloody cats. Such a pain in the ass. You're one of these special cases. Oh, really? Yes. Apparently, according to the powers that be, I'm just doing my job. I do what I'm told. I don't even get paid very much. <laughs> Apparently, squirrels can have as many lives as they think they can get away with. Oh, I see. So I'm not dead. You're dead, but not quite. Oh, right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be off later. Just you wait, smart ass. You don't get out of it that easily. Now, the thing is, you may not be dead, but that doesn't mean you can't die. You just have a few more, shall we say, chances. Yeah. Like cats. I hate those things. Right, distributed around your little world are these tail things. Squirrel's tails. If you can get them, I'll give you an extra chance. Understand? Um, well, sounds a bit strange, but okay. Strange? The best bloody deal you're going to get, you little prick. Right, that's it. Piss off. I've got some cats to see. Bloody things. I hate those bloody cats. The way they meow and they piss everywhere. And their shit smells just... <laughs> So yeah, right here we have Hell Sweet Hell. Alright then. And we have various things. Okay. All these say Conquer. <laughs> this is 1996. Was, was that mean he was one? And Does that mean he was one and did he conquer anything? 
Well, he's fucking dead. So yeah, we have these. To keep Conker alive. And sorry about the... I'm not here alone. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go in here real quick. And we'll end it here, ladies and gentlemen. So until next time, um, I'll come up with something, some way to end these at some point in the future. So thanks for watching.